the way I recall it now, and I say to people, it's a bit like fishing. Like this line in the sand came just keeps growing and growing and growing the longer it goes on. But we didn't realise as players, like we we knew that we were getting pants by Essendon, and we had to do something about it. But we didn't realise how much the old players or the ex-players how much it was affecting them. Brownie and I were having a coffee on the Friday before the game um, in a little cafe in Hawthorne and I, I've been at the club at this stage for seven years and I'd never met Don Scott. He came up and stood right beside Brownie and I and looked at us both as we're sipping on our lattes and he just walked up and he goes, Campbell, Richard, I want you to hit somebody tomorrow but don't get reported and he walked out. Like Brownie and I didn't say a word. So that was Don Scott on the Friday. So it, it was just, for some reason, there was just an air around this, this game. And then we got into the game and there was something happened in the warm-up. I can't really remember what it was, but I think it was Spider and Murphy. So it was just little bits were going on the whole time. But when then Dermy decides he'll start um, puffing the chest out and Schwabby, Schwabby basically said, Mark Johnson does not walk off this ground. That was the instruction. And, and we'd never heard anything like that from Schwabby in the whole time we'd been there. Um, but he was just livid and um, yeah, Dermy, Dermy started sort of sprouting what, uh, what we should do out there. Let's have a look at Richie Vandenberg, he's on the right of screen there, bang! I don't know whether any of those connected, 